Hello YouTubers, my name is Mr. J, and I'm back with some more info for Mortal Kombat X. And I'm going to probably read some of the characters that what I think is going to be in Mortal Kombat X. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video clip because I had the list right here in my phone. I don't think you can see it that well. Uh, too many, uh, probably the lights are reflecting off my phone. So, I'm going to probably read the characters, what I think, and maybe some of their bios. Too. Okay, starting off, I'll probably read, read about New Cybot. I think New Cybot is going to be in this new Mortal Kombat X because you'll probably remember back in Mortal Kombat 9 that, that the sorcerer Quan Chi has resurrected New Cybot to do his bidding. And his bio says New Cybot's origins are, are unknown, but he is likely relevant. And a fallen warrior resurrected by the Nether Realm sorcerer Quan Chi to fulfill a dark objective. Uh, sorry, I, I lost my place of uh, thought. Oh, there it is. Um, New has been assigned to aid Shao Kahn in his in his ambition to of Earth Realm, a faithful servant. Recent addition to the Brotherhood of Shadow, he will obey his master. Want she and complete his mission, but he is bidding his time. New Cyber has a dark objective of his own. So, do you think New Cyber will betray Quan Chi and the new Mortal Kombat X? I think there's gonna be some, some a little bit of a story between New Cyber. I think New Cyber is gonna have something to do with the storyline. So. Moving on, what is what I think is going to be? Let's see in the game. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, give me a minute, you guys. I just trying to look. Uh, okay. What I think is going to be Baraka. I think it will be Baraka. I think Baraka will probably be a a little bit of a playable character for Mortal Kombat X. The reason why, because uh, just because I I know he's gonna be in there, but he's gonna probably serve to his new master Kotokan. When Shao Kahn's dead, Baraka will probably serve serve Kotokan. Let's see about Baraka's uh, bio. Baraka is the fiercest uh, of a Tarkadan vision mutant from a wasteland of Outworld. Like all Tarkadan males. He had joined Shao Kahn army. He had came at the age of survival, survived to a brutal ritual of blood. He gained the rank of the enforcer of a single-handedly defeated a rebel faction. The <laughs> faction and his loyalty and strength made him a favorite of the emperor's uh, his re retractable blades. Unless I'm saying that right. Retractable blades. Okay, now nah, I'll say it. Never. Uh, yeah, I'm saying it right. Have slain many of Shao Kahn's most bitter enemies, as his cont contestant, whatever I, c I could say, contestant or contestant, whatever. In Mortal Kombat tournament, he will ensure the Emperor's claim uh, to the to Earth Realm. So Baraka is probably is loyal to Shao Kahn, even at their death. Baraka probably would have a new objective. Pirates serve Kotokan. Kotokan will probably try to merge the realms between Outworld and Earth Realm. And what next I think is gonna be is and I know there's a lot of hints and rumors about maybe Melina could be a, a confirmed character. Maybe M. Boomin is gonna probably throw out a hint of about Melina. So I I'm pretty sure Belita is gonna have something to do with the storyline. Since since Shang Tsung has made a complete clone uh Katana. So so Melina is it's a an exact duplicate of Katana but has the body of a Tarkatan. And her bio said Shang Tsung has created an admirable creature in his flesh pits. But none of so twisted as Belina, a fusion of the Edenian flesh and Tarkatan blood. 
Melina is both beauty and beast. This has made her unstable. She is prone to fit madness and savagery through she has appearance in, of a mature woman. She is more child than an adult. A Blake Slade confirmed to Shao Kahn will devote the con yeah. or residence of Melina Butcher and anyone to apply. Pies, whatever. <laughs> that is so hard to say it. And her beloved father. So, I think probably Ed Bowman is going to probably throw us a hand at doing during his next tweet. Probably something had to do with Melina. So, moving on, what I think is going to be in Mortal Kombat X. Hold on. Just give me a minute, you guys. This is hard. Hey, no, that's the bottom. Give me a minute. One minute. Hold on. Nope. Seriously? Where is it? I'm sorry, guys. This is probably taking so long to find something in here. Oh. Oh, there it is. What I think is going to be in Mortal Kombat X is Cabal. I know Cabal is going to be in the game because Ed Boon has thrown in a hint at us. Um, I don't know if he's trolling one of us or he's throwing a hint because in, in his last tweet it's probably had like a, I think a picture of a soup or in a basketball and you put those words uh, I, I don't know it's just like some similar to Cabal so maybe he's throwing the hit at us Cabal could be playable or not we just had to find out during his text uh, the tweet update so let's see let's read his bio once a member of the Blight Dragon Clan, Cobal gave gave up his life a crime and put his fighting skills to more pro positive use. He joined the New York City Police Force to combat the outer war element once served this <coughs> translation whatever helped helped to ease the pain of the dark memories. But when New York ha was invaded the un underwar well, it underwent under <laughs> sorry, underwent another transformation, one that would have left him physically severely injured in battle. He is doomed to wear a life support unit, life support system forever. And you probably have paid attention to the to storyline when Cabal has burned to a crisp. Kano had dragged his body to Shang Tsung's flesh pit, and Shang Tsung mag magic had healed most of the Cabal. But looks like his lungs did not. So K Kano had built him a, a probably like a respirator, try to like keep him alive. But I guess he can never take off that mask because since his lungs were so damaged and then he can't even breathe on the sun without his mask. So you were probably wonder what the guest character is gonna be, but we got like two, probably two hints. It's probably Sweet Tooth or this and Goro. Goro is already confirmed as a DLC. You just have to pre-order the game and you can play as him. But Sweet Tooth, on the other hand, could be a hint. I'm not so sure he could be playable because Ambuin had throw like two tweets at us saying he could be playable could be playable or unless he could be trolling us. So I know everyone's favorite character that is so excited, Kong Lao. And you're asking why is Kong Lao in Mortal Kombat is did he die I know he died in Mortal Kombat nine when he when Shao Kong probably broke his neck. And it's that he's already confirmed as a playable character. So I'll probably read his and bio for you guys, so uh, let's see. Kong Lao's ancestor was defeated by Goro 500 years ago in a prior <coughs> match that saw Shang Sun. Let's see, Shang Sun attention the control of Mortal Kombat tournament. To him, this contest contest is about more than Earth realm's freedom. His life goal has been to slay Goro. When the tournament 
thus restoring his family honor. After being defeated by Liu Kang in the qualifying rounds, he disguised himself as one of Shang Tsung's guards to gain a admission. Kung Lao believes he's ready for the challenge. The time to avenge his ancestors is at at hand. So yeah, Kung Lao is playable. You got what you wanted, you guys. Kung Lao is now playable. And and uh, last and not least, we had Sub Zero, Sub Zero and Mortal Kombat X. Okay, that this like. I don't know this this new sub zero could be a another brother of the of the two sub zeros that would kill in Mortal Kombat nine, so could be a friend, could be a brother. I'm not really sure what the the story goes with between sub zero and and the others. So I'll probably read his bio bio to you guys a assassin of the Lin Kuei clan. Com commands the power, ice, and cold. Unlike the other members of his clan, he he is the older brother. Uh, they Bihan, that am I saying right? Bihan were abducted as children by the Lin Kuei and trained in the techniques of the assassination. Throughout their lives, though his his code name is Tadra, he has now assumed the mantle of Sub Zero. To honor his brother after Bihan mysteriously death, with the help of his fellow Lin Kuei Smoke, Sub Zero tristly tri hunts the one who kills his brother. The one you you're probably wondering who killed his brother, unless unless you're paying attention to a storyline in Mortal Kombat 9, it is to be Scorpion that is responsible for the death of Sub Zero's older brother. Okay, Scorpion is probably like a it's a ninja specter for the nether realm. And thought to seek his revenge of the death of his family clan. The clan of the Shirayu clan. The Shirayu ninja clan. And blame it on Sub Zero because because he thinks the Sub Zero has murdered his entire family clan. But the truth is that it the one the truth responsible for the death of of the clan is it's the sorcerer Quan Chi. Quan Chi was responsible for the death of uh, Scorpion's clan. So, I'm gonna read Sub uh, Scorpion's bio. Once a member of the Japanese the Shirayu Ninja Clan, given the name Scorpion for his bitely, fast, and deadly fighting skills, his life was blessed with glorious, glorious combat in the name of his, of his Grandmaster. But when he but when he, his family, and his clan were brutally exterminated by by Sub Zero and the Lin Kuei, Scorpion existed became an eternal torment, resurrected by the malevolent. Eh, malevolent. Uh, let's see. Okay, Quan Chi. He entered the Mortal Kombat tournament to slay Sub Zero to avenge the murder of his kin. So there you have it. I gave you the probably the the list of the possibility that is going to be in the game. So we probably have like some confirmed characters. We Kun Lao's confirmed, Goro is confirmed, and we have like the two all-time favorites, Scorpion and Sub Zero, by battling out on the battlefield. So make sure you hit that like button, share my video, drop a sub if you want, like subscribe to my channel if you like. And I'll probably see you guys next time during my next update for the next Mortal Kombat list. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace out.